Dude, you're not a gamer. I mean, I am a gamer. You're literally making up bullshit. God, you people are so degenerate and retarded. It's unbelievable. Okay, that's okay? But how do you I guys are so f***ing stupid. Buy it. Enjoy your f***ing goon slop. I don't f***ing care. I've just watched the f***ing video from Cabrutus, the guy that set up Sweet Baby Ink Detected, shilling the game. What are you on about? What do you mean? He's shilling it. Just as a quick palate cleanser. Okay. Can we just, uh, just point out a bit of absurdity? with some of the Sweet Baby Ink side of the argument, the anti-Sweet Baby Ink people, which I'm presuming this person is going to be. Well, maybe not this person, but others have commented on it. Is this, is this, is this game some sort of porno thing? Like, what is this? Like, I genuinely don't care if you want to play a game that's got some, like, um, sexy women in or something like that. But every single clip I've seen of Stella Blade on Twitter is is just this. It's just goon fuel. And I'm like, <laughs> what? What is this? It just seems a bit a bit much, you know? Mezzi, thank you for the super sticker. Sunglasses perpetually fall onto video game controller's pl proud face. Thank you for the $14 super sticker. Canadian dollars, thank you. Yeah, exactly, I wrestle weebs. Yes, I'm sat here thinking, okay, well, what is this game then? All I've seen is like this person opening chests and all their bits shaking, or them, or the person just camera up the ass climbing up and down a ladder. Well, that's my, but that's my point, isn't it? It's like, they're saying this is a good game, but it's, it's not showing the gameplay. It's just showing their ass. It's not, that, it's not to say it's bad. If you want to make this game and play this game, or you want to fucking look at it, or whatever, right? but it's just... These people are supposedly passionate about games, but they're not showing any actual gameplay. They're just showing tits and ass. And I'm like, okay, but tits and ass is not what makes a good game. You know? But I guess, I guess, uh, is it on PS5? There's a demo on PS5. Maybe I should play it and report back. What is this? Amidst Sweet Baby Ink controversy, Pokemon Go company is ESG approved. 2024 changes. Change the vis viscerocranium of the female. Remove chest. Modify hip. Expand chin. Broaden their shoulders. Delete makeup. There is no really explanation as to why this has occurred. So what? That's the old character. And this is the new one, is it? Can you guys see? I, I just don't, I guess I don't really see it that much, but. And Chud is defending this. I mean, I don't have a problem with whatever woman that you want to put in a game, really. How old is this character canonically? Just a quick question before we get into this. <laughs> it's a test rollout, okay. Yeah, I just like look. I I fundamentally agree with like some of the criticisms. Okay, that's one of the woke shit in video I games. Make you know, money off depressed people. Thank you for the two dollars. It just feels like it just feels like there's this kind of rapid. Um, what's the right word for it? 
Like there is an issue there, but it just seems to be every every corner is being poked in for this stuff. But I, I admit I don't really see it, so I could just not be. So this is the original character. I guess they're more brown, aren't they? Well, no, this is the original character, right? And this is the new one. Yeah, you can see they've changed the hips. It's the player character, so it's however old you are. Right, okay. Yeah, so they've, got, they've changed the hips. The hips are not like that anymore. And the face looks different, yeah? There's something to be said about how characters are being made less attractive and more brown. <laughs> but the gooners make every convo worthless to have. Yeah, I just... Po is Pokemon Go really worth being that concerned about that you're getting to this level with it? I mean, I guess it's only got much traction, but... Pokemon Go is is like a fucking shitty mobile game. Well, I did play it when it first came out. I got into the hype, I guess you could say. I just think there's such a weird target. Like, do you, you know, what gamer is going to meaningfully care about Pokemon Go woman? I don't know. <laughs> I've always liked trip the triple A shit. That was the things that people were bothered about. Mauler hmm. played him. <laughs> Would it be a stream? Oh, wow. At least we get to see some actual fucking gameplay for once. This'll be easy. Watch out. It's an unlisted Tebow. I'll handle this one. Oh, okay. It's Ooh. one of these, yeah. Do that again. Trying. Take that, bitch. Watch out. There's more. I could do that again, probably. Looks like Okay, anyway, I get the gist. I just Okay. It looks fine. It looks like a fine game to play. But the way these gooners are talking about it is they're acting like it's a second coming of video gaming. And I'm like, it's just like, it looks like a fairly standard Asian game. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't look particularly mind-blowing. But what, because you can look at their ass, you are pushing it super hard. Like, I'm sorry to say as well, that Cabrutus guy, I think, put out a video about this. It was, a, it was a bit cringe. I actually watched it this morning, funnily enough. Would you believe it? Cabrutus. And what's the game called? Stellar Blade. Oh, bro. This is the only good thing about this article. Stellar Blade. Play this game. Support this game. Buy the heck out of this game. Let's make this game sell, sell like, I don't know, 20 million, 50 million, maybe 10 million. Let's pass a message to them. Let's tell them, hey, this is what we want. What? <laughs> In fact, I feel, I feel like um, Harmful Opinions warned about this. I don't, know if he I don't know if he'd agree this is an example of that, but to me it seems like it, where... In, in the midst of criticisms of the gaming industry, you get just pushing of games which are like not even that great, you know? It's just like, what, because it's got an ass in it, you're going to push it. Beautiful woman, good gameplay, no walk bullshit. Look at, look at her, bro. I mean, look at her. SBI, you could never... Like, the, the, this is the problem. If the standard... I mean, he's saying good gameplay, I guess. So there's that you can consider. But whether or not it's got woke bullshit in, like a game just not having woke bullshit opens yourself up to people pulling the wool over your eyes and putting out a game that's dog shit and just going, but guys, there's no woke bullshit in there, so off you go. <laughs> Buy my game. 
It sucks, but it's not woke, at least. It's such a good character. Uh -uh. I didn't even play this game. Watch the Fable 4 trailer, Chud. Go ahead. Yeah, I've watched the Fable 4 trailer. Yes, I know the woman in it's ugly and I think it's gay. Yes. But I'm 100% sure that this character is going to be way more loved than anything you guys have touched uh, in your entire career, com company's career. So Bro, what? <laughs> Why? Why this game? Is it, is it really good enough that this is the fucking thing you're pushing in the opposition to the woke stuff? Is some Korean slop fucking bullshit with asses in? I don't know, dude. It just seems like, why, you, why this game? Like, if it was a game... You know, Helldivers say. Helldivers is like a great game. And I think pushing that or something. Why this? Dude, you're not a gamer. I mean, I am a gamer. You're literally making up bullshit. God, you people are so degenerate and retarded. It's unbelievable. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay? But how do you guys are so fucking stupid. Buy it. Enjoy your fucking goon slop. I don't fucking care. You don't understand what I'm trying to say, clearly. Stella Blade had a fantastic gameplay, and the fight is over the fact that IGN said no real woman looked like that, and they literally used a Korean woman. Okay. Whether or not the fight is about that is irrelevant. I'm saying that shitting this game seems retarded. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that going out of your way to shill this game when it doesn't seem to be a particularly significant title and this is at the forefront and this is at the fucking forefront of like what you're pushing in the face of the DEI shit it just seems like a stupid move when it's just some fucking Korean game. What do you mean I'm not a real gamer? Like, I don't play these kind of games, but is this a particularly good example of this kind of game within the genre? Okay, that's it just wonderful. looks like kind of but slop. How do I make money off depressed people? Five dollars from Puddle Sucker. Up arrow, right arrow, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. Puddle Sucker, thank you. Yes. We are back to... Oh, guys, this game triggers the libs. Am I right? <laughs> Buy this game because it triggers the libs. <laughs> IGN is pushing this forward, not gamers. I've just watched the fucking video from Cabrutus, the guy that set up Sweet Baby Ink Detected, shilling the game. What are you on about? What do you mean? He's shilling it. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Five dollars from Ellington Moose. Not only used a Korean woman, the character designer is a woman. <laughs> the gamers really think they're not as retarded as the wokes. I know it's painful, isn't it? Primordial. Very painful. It's like pulling teeth. He just likes it and wants to recommend it. You really are not understanding what I'm saying, are you? You really don't get it. It's so obvious. And everyone here, except for you retarded fucking, you know, shillers. You, you people that are desperate for Gamergate 2 to happen so you got some value in your pathetic little lives, okay? I'm not saying it's a problem to like a game and to enjoy it. I'm saying that going out of your way to shill a game when it doesn't seem to be a particularly um, a substantial release just because the libs don't like it is retarded. That's all that I'm fucking saying. Go and enjoy your game. But it's very clear this is being you know used as fuel in this gay little war that people are trying to fucking force to happen. Right? You're sexless perverts. And I'm sick of it. Oh, look at this, guys. You can see her ass and tits. Oh, my God. Bro, this is fine. Maul are playing it and enjoying it. Yeah, I'm chill with that. 
Good luck to Mauler, okay? At least he's not fucking zooming in on her ass cheeks and going, Hey guys, look at this. You can see her ass. Look at her tits. Look, look, you climb up a ladder and you can see a full-blown ass. Anyway. God, you guys, I can understand. I understand why game journos are trying to fuck you up because you're annoying sometimes, okay? <laughs> I support Kotaku now. I'm on Kotaku's side. Fuck you, losers. Fuck you, incels, okay? I'm sick of it. Now listen, there is a conversation to be had, and there are there are definitely issues, and I agree with a lot of the criticisms that are made of the gaming the gaming press. I do agree with all of that. It's just like you guys are cringe. You guys are so fucking cringe sometimes. Stop being such cringe fucking losers. Okay? Jesus Christ, that's all I'm saying. You get further if you weren't cringe losers. Okay, that's, that's wonderful. It. But how do I make money off depressed people? Yeah, it comes across that you just the, the push is because IGN are talking about it in a way that you don't like. Rather than just, you know, it's a good game. Let's make it... Also, I don't even know if it could sell that much. Is, only, is it a PlayStation 5 exclusive? Although sometimes they go to PC, don't they? But a PS5 exclusive is not going to sell anywhere near that, I don't think. <clears throat> yeah, listen, I'm not saying it's a bad game. You know, at no point have I said it's bad. I call it slop. But that's, I don't play those kind of games. So, you know, it's not really my cup of tea. I don't, I'm not saying it's bad if you like that kind of game. I'm just pointing out that, like, it's not, it's not exactly fucking, I don't know. What's a classic critically acclaimed game that you like? It's not exactly fucking Half Life, is it? You know, that's all I'm saying. Zelda, whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly stylo yeah stylo he's got it on the on the head here good games are marked by well people remember this game in five years and this is yellow fever koi slot <laughs> bro what is the yellow fever about you're gonna get me banned your halo Dude, that's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say. I disavow. <laughs> I disavow. This is better than Bayonetta. Well, I've not played either of those games, so... That's just my perception of it. It doesn't look like it's going to be a kind of all-time classic that's going to be remembered. I, I've not played... I don't play those games. I'm not into all the fucking... You know, I it's all a fucking blend for me. I just look at it, I'm like, oh, it's all the same thing, you know. <laughs> um Well, I've pl I played the original Final Fantasy Seven. I preferred Final Fantasy Eight. I know that's a controversial opinion. But I tried to play the remake and I played it for ten minutes and um I'm sure it's very good. You know, I'm sure it's a great game. I just I couldn't I think I need to give it another go, to be honest. I need to give it another go. Chud Dodd, did you play Sex with Hitler? Well, I think people should buy Sex with Hitler because the wokes are moaning about it, you know? Final Fantasy VIII, no wonder you have trash taste. What's wrong with Final Fantasy VIII? Final Fantasy VIII is great. I would I would play that that remake in a in a fucking heartbeat if they did that. <laughs> Come on man, this is absurd. I just loop. It's a seven second loop. Sniffer, sniffer. Just watch, guys. 
Just look up, just just load up Pornhub. Just jerk off, okay? <laughs> Trust me, it's a lot easier than whatever the fuck that was. Show the stats. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just closed it. <laughs> Wait, hang on a sec. Hang on. It's got... <laughs> Guys, this tweet has got nearly 10,000 bookmarks. Bro, people are jerking off to this. People are legit jerking off to this. A hundred percent. Now, come on. <laughs> Dude, people are jerking off to that. That's crazy. <laughs> also, yeah, I heard it is based on a real woman. But from what I saw, she looks like a fucking... Big, she looks like she's got big fake tits. Um, some sort of Korean... Looks like some sort of Korean fucking porno model or something. Just go and jerk off to her, I guess, if she's in, in the porno. No, my point is... My point is very simple, okay? It's very easy to understand. I'm not saying, you know, I don't know, but I've not played the game, so I can't say whether it's good or bad necessarily. It just feels very cringe to put a game at the forefront of your campaign against Woke just because it's got big titted women in it. Okay? That's all I'm saying. That's it. I'm not, not you know, if you want to buy it, that's fine. If you want to play it, good luck to you. But it seems very clear to me that the reason this has picked up so much steam is not because of uh, a sort of nuanced analysis of the gameplay, it is it's got big tits and ass in, you know? Buy the game if you play the game and like the look of it. My message to gamers is this. Buy a game because you play the game and you like the gameplay. You play a demo and you like the gameplay. Don't buy a game to support a cause. That is gay as fuck, okay? Right? That's it. That's my message. If you play it, you like the gameplay, and you're like, I'm going to play that, good luck to you. If you like, oh, there's a cause here, right? We can we can show the fucking game developers how bad DEI is. In turn no, all you're doing is stuffing money into the pockets of some rando Korean developer. That's all. You're not actually doing anything. By put it's like, you know, it's stupid. You know, and alongside that, you can have a conversation about some of the things you don't like in gaming and, you know, hope that maybe there's a sort of a trend and a change. But buying this game is not going to help get you there, okay? It's stupid and retarded. And, you know, like, I've got no hate for this Cabrutus guy. I think he got treated very fucking badly. The fact that they were trying to shut down his Steam account purely on the basis of him running... The Sweet Baby Ink person trying to shut his Steam account down was fucking disgraceful. And I thought he was treated horrendously. But now he's ended up in this kind of position of authority or like, you know, he's seen as some sort of leader of movement. But he's just a fucking random Brazilian guy who likes video games, who's got kind of wrapped up in all of this. And he's, yeah, he's just, he's kind of a retard. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's just a, I mean, there's no disrespect to him is meant by that. I'm not trying to be mean to him. I'm not trying to be harsh to him. But like, he's, he's just a random guy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And and he, you know, some of the way he speaks, it makes it seem like he's trying to be some sort of leader of a movement. And that's what I mean when I say, you know, you're so desperate for this to happen, so you've got value in your pathetic little lives. Yes, that's a harsh way of putting it. But what I'm trying to get across is that, you know, yes, there's been a dynamic where people have spoken about this, there's been criticism of Sweet Baby Inc. and so on. But it's very clear that there's a desperation for a movement to happen. Partly, maybe, fairly, because you don't like the way that some games are. But also because some people want to turn this. They want to Miley Yiannopoulos this shit. Now, I don't think Gabrutus is guilty of that necessarily. But I am 100% certain that there are people around him that are whispering in his ear that are my wanting to Miley Yiannopoulos this situation that are sniffing around. And so, you know, he's talked about from people behind the scenes that want to help him for free. Why? Why do we want to give their labor and time to fucking help this guy set up a website for free? Well, they're probably thinking they're eventually going to get something out of it, you know? So, yeah. 
That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I hope you're joking. I genuinely, I don't like it. I've, I've, I've got multiple content now. There's videos where I talk about this and talk about the Sweet Baby Ink stuff. I think it's on the second channel, maybe. But yeah, I agree with all of the criticisms of Kotaku and I think they're dog shit and all this stuff, you know? But it just feels like people are kind of... Like, what's that guy's name? Stuttering Craig. Again, I've got no hate towards this guy. I don't really know him that well. I've heard of him and I know that people that I know know him. But he tried to set up a game award. And he asked people for sixty dollars for to pay sixty dollars towards the game award, so that so that he can um, so that you can vote in this game award thing. And then when he got pushback, he changed it to thirty dollars. <laughs> what is going? What is going on there? He's trying to fund an award show. Doesn't know how much it will cost. Hasn't really costed it out or anything, and it's just asking for money. He's just asking for cash. And he's like, I'm going to do an award show at the end of the year. And it's like, what? What? Is that? Hang on a minute. Is that what was needed? An award show? Is that what people want? Guys, we're getting massively off the beaten track here because I wasn't going to cover any of this shit. But you've angered me. You've angered me with your shitty takes. Okay. I also... Wait, hang on. Where is he? Is this it? Yeah, this is it here. This is it here. If there's one thing that's become painfully clear over the last couple of weeks, it's that the people who work in this industry and write about this industry that you love hate you. It's one big club Fair. and you are not in it. In fact, did you right. know that the Game Awards are voted on by those exact same people? I mean, look at this. So, so far, so good. I don't really disagree with that. Yeah. It's IGN and okay. Polygon and Variety, for God's sakes. It's an elitist, outdated system, and it's had way too much sway in the video game industry for way too long. Yeah. I've been talking about video games online for almost two decades now and been playing games like longer than that. But I have never seen the video game industry this toxic. It is time to get our voice back. Now, look, I'm not telling you I got this whole idea mapped out because I don't. I don't even have a name for this yet, but it's become painfully obvious that this is very much needed. Year after year, over and over again. Like, he's not even thought up anything about this thing. And he's asking people for money. It's just so wild to me. If you were like, right, I've costed it out. I figured it all out. This is how much it's going to cost. So therefore, we're, uh, we're doing this pricing. And this is what you get for this pricing and stuff like that. Fine. But he's literally not even thought of any of it. And he's like, give me, give me money, please. Thank you. And after the Game Awards, people say, there has to be a real award show for gamers. Well, let's do it. Also, is, is that even true? <laughs> David, is that true that people are like, we need, a, we need an award show for gamers? Is that something that's, that's a disc... Like, does there have to be that? I don't know. These things tend to just evolve into a popularity contest and the voting and stuff like that, you know? I don't know, man. It just seems like he's... It feels like he's creating a problem out of nothing in order to get money from people to do an award show that I don't think anyone was... E like, before he spoke about this, I don't recall of anyone saying, do you know what we really need, guys? Is we need an award show for gamers, you know? This is the first step to creating a club or a group where you decide the winners and losers of the video game industry. A club where you get to decide the categories, the nominees for the categories, and of course... But this is what I'm saying, guys. You're going to get... Because some of the people earlier were being retarded about this. I'm just trying to point out some of the shit that's going on here because I worry about you. I worry about you deeply because if you give this guy money, you're not going to give me money, all right? <laughs> Vote on them. And it'll all be done through an app where you can do it easily and securely. So is this club free? Nope, absolutely not. Why? As we've seen over the last few years, our hobby has been hijacked by activists looking to push their own agenda and literally push you out. For that reason alone, there has to be a barrier of entry to be a part of this club. Hell yes, we're going to gatekeep. We should have been gatekeeping much longer. But here's my vision. With your support, we'll number one, be able to make the app. 
And number two, be able to create a physical award show that you'll be able to attend, guess what, with the app serving as your ticket. My vision for this also has a board of directors to help oversee things, but there are strict rules to be involved with the board. One, they're not allowed to vote. Two, they're not allowed to be on any press list or receive any free video games and or perks from any AAA publishers. And three, and most importantly, they are not allowed to be employed by traditional gaming media. Hey man, I get it. Video games are a mess right now. The industry you love doesn't want you and the traditional media hates you. And that's why it's time to take games back. So go to takegamesback.com and become a member and help grow this community and help regain our voice. It's now or never. Like the way the language and stuff and the kind of like, it's now or never. Like this is very typical stuff that people use in these situations to kind of monetize the culture war shit.